Okay, so we are going to try and find Septimus Cygnus. Uh, he has more information about the Elder Scrolls. Um, the bad side to that is because I believe he's actually read the Elder Scrolls or he has been in possession of it for a while. I believe he's gone a bit mad, if I remember correctly. So it should definitely be interesting to meet him. A few things while we're traveling to the location. Um, I switched around a couple of mods. Or not really switched around. I reinstalled and fixed a couple of mods. Um, one of them being the realistic needs and diseases one. For whatever reason, it was not activating properly. So I would not need to eat food or anything like that. Or I wouldn't get tired as quickly or anything like that. So I've reinstalled that and fixed it. Um, another one is something that's been brought up to in one of my playthroughs. I have the Renengon, and I forgot that Moderus Path actually gives you different abilities when you use it. Um, it gives you access to um, wood-style jutsus. So I'm going to try and use those a bit more. Um, it also gives you the ability to use the um, Tengai Shin Sinche, and I believe that is the Concealment Heaven. Which is, for anyone that's watched the show, it is the huge-ass meteor that crashes to the ground. Um, the only problem with using that spell is that, for one, it does a shit ton of damage. And the other one is that... Um, it will cause my companions to pretty much try and kill me. Which sucks. Because... I don't want to have to kill them, but I will if I if I need to. So I'm going to try and save that spell probably for when I'm traveling by myself. So that's just something to be aware of. So you probably won't be using see me using that spell a lot. Um simply because of the way that All right, so that's working properly. Uh, simply the way that it works and the amount of damage it does. Um, I'm not exactly sure if there's a way to actually use the spell to um, to fix it to where they won't try and kill me if they're hit by the, the jutsu itself. Because I do want to use the jutsu at some point. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to kill off my companions by doing so. So it's just one of those things to where I'm gonna have to find a balance to um to actually using the the jutsu itself. But other than that, that's really some of the major changes that's um happened from the last part to this part. Um, some will be noticeable, some won't. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try my best to use other um jutsus and stuff. It's just that with Madara's path, um, you really don't get that. That many abilities. There's a lot of different creatures out here. I actually realize you don't get any of the um the summoning jutsus with this path. But on the plus side, it seems like we got the Chakra Blade to work properly, so that'd be useful. See if I can hit this guy from way out here.
actually out of magic. That should kill him. Firestall Fireball Jutsu. So as I said before, like I'm going to try and use a lot more different spells and jutsus to kind of give a little bit more variety, uh, variety to the playthrough itself. Because I have been using um, Tsutano a lot. It, it is a pretty um, powerful jutsu in this game, especially um, against dragons and stuff. So I'm going to try and refrain from using it as much and try and use it uh, a couple of different things. There's a lot of people here. There's a lot of shades around here. I just realized that. I guess maybe the, one of the factions is around here to where they just keep um, spawning in. There's a lot of them around here. I've noticed. Let's do a quick save here. I'm going to try and use this jutsu. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I don't. Oh, I might have cast that too close. This is going to suck. Okay. So that didn't work. So I'm going to reload that because that did not work as intended. Okay, so yeah, that didn't go as planned, um, simply because, for whatever reason, um, that area of effect is really big, and since it pretty much kills my companions, oh wow, that was pretty far. Okay, well, he's dead, so. There we go. Pretty much cleared out this place for now. So, yeah, just gonna try. I might switch paths again um, later on down the line. A lot of people um, asked me to kind of try out Toby's path as well as. Uh, uh, Shishui's path, which I was mistaken in the last video. Uh, Shishui is the one that has a lot more um, Tsukiyomi usage than 
um, Itachi. For some reason, I thought I said Itachi, even though it's um. You know, it's definitely not. Oh, I don't know why we're killing Horkers. They're pretty much harmless. Let's see. Horker meat. I'll cook that later. I'm gonna have to start getting ingredients too to cook a couple of things. And I need to sell some stuff, so. Next time I'm in town, I'm going to sell off a bunch of different armor and stuff that I know I'm not going to use anymore. Here we go. This place is very bright. It could be the E and B that I'm using, maybe, but I feel as though this place is just, just whatever reason, very bright. But that's the person we need to talk to. When the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. So yeah, this dude's pretty much mad at this point. Elder Scrolls, indeed. The Empire, they absconded with them. Or so they think. The ones they saw. Ah, the ones they thought they saw. I know of one. Forgotten. Sequestered. But I cannot go to it. Not poor Septimus. For I... I have arisen beyond its grasp. Here. Well, here as in this plain. Hmm. Mondas, Tamriel, nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> yeah, this is On gonna... It's gonna scale, take a minute. Well, it's all nearby. Oh, a brutish one. <laughs> Septimus has no fear of you, but as one block raises another, perhaps ourselves could help us each. You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> where is this Black Reach? Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep. Tower Zark. Oftan, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. Two things I have for you. Oh, God. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings. But... Empty. All right. Find Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. All right. So. Unnatural chill in the air. Some evil. I'm not exactly a hundred percent sure what all he was saying, but. Apparently, we got to transcribe a lexicon. 
stuck in this place. I think I got a little stuck on this mission. Um. Oh, did I, did I make it this far back when I played Skyrim? I can't remember. But I know I've been to Blackreach before, and it was for one of the mods I showed off long, long time ago. Um, I believe it was for one of the Star Wars mods that I showed off. I had to go to Blackreach to kind of demonstrate one of the um, where one of the holocrons was. So I, I relatively know of the place. It's just I've never actually been there for a quest line. So this should definitely be interesting. Uh, in terms of where to go, it's not terribly far from the from the um, Hobbs Fall or Fall K. We've been there before. It's not terribly far from there, so I think we'll walk this one out. I could fast travel, but with the realistic needs um, now working properly, fast traveling is going to cause me to be a lot more hungry. And for something as short a distance as this, there's really no need for me to. Um, fast travel to that point the hell is going on out here that is a werewolf I'm gonna kill it or I'm gonna try and kill it the hell is he what the hell is he fighting oh is that a that's a vampire Oh wow, that's actually interesting. Wow. I'm generally surprised the vampire won that fight. Let's see, what do you have? 9% Magicka, Critical Hit Chance, we'll take that, Speechcraft and Endurance, I can sell that. Wow, I didn't actually think that, what is this, Trousers. Human Flesh, I am not going to eat Human Flesh, I am not a cannibal. Yeah, that's definitely a first. I've never seen a werewolf and a vampire actually out here just fighting. Am I going the right way? Something tells me I'm not going the right way. I am not going the right way. Alright, so let's turn around. And so, I guess that I'll continue the story of what I was talking about in, um, in my last video. Uh, about a job offering that I almost got. So, to kind of give a little context to the story here. Why is this late just floating here um a little context back to the story so someone the people who um made trailers for or no it was the people who was developing the game disney infinity 3.0 uh they saw my youtube channel and one of and i think it was my yeah it was my brother's wife she knew one of the people that was um hiring on so she directed them towards my youtube channel as well and they saw some of the stuff that I made. Um, a lot of it was some of the reviews and the, the mod videos that I made. And they liked what I was doing. And they was looking for people uh, potentially in the future to make trailers. And I'm not sure if it was reviews and stuff for them or anything like that. But I definitely know it was trailers. And they wanted me just to put out regular content um, throughout the rest of the week. And they would go over the content. And they would pick to see who would be better suited for... Um, making the trailers for their, I guess it was for, um, their games to release on YouTube and stuff. I'm not sure if it would have been on television or anything like that. But, yeah, it was between me and one other person. I don't know who the other person's YouTube channel was. Um, they didn't give out that information or anything like that. I could see why, too. Um, I guess just so you don't go check out their channel, see what they're doing, and try and do better than what they was doing. They wanted to see your actual natural talent. So, I did... I did my thing on YouTube. Um, I put out a lot more videos than I usually did. I think that was the same week I did the Hatred review, as well as a couple of Skyrim mods. I think I did like two or three during that week, because I really wanted to push out content for them to watch, um, so they can see what I could do. So I pushed out a lot of content that week. This shouldn't kill me. 
and it became time to choose someone and unfortunately they chose the other person for the job um i'm not really upset about it i mean yeah it's disappointing but it lets me know that the stuff i was doing they actually is actually getting to other people's eyes um, something i never actually expected to happen so i'm actually really proud of myself to know that at least back then my work was um impressive enough for them to actually want to consider me for something like that because to be honest i never thought my stuff was that good to be where they would actually want to hire me to do trailer or some anyone want to hire me to do trailers and things like that and that really gave me a boost of confidence and what i was doing via youtube so you know it's stuff like that that um helps me keep putting out videos and stuff like that and wants me to try out new things and and stuff like that so yeah, it's one of the the more interesting things that's definitely happened in my um my YouTube channel career thingy, if you want to call it that. I think I gotta yeah. If I was doing the um the Mage's Guild quest, I think I would have to come back here. Um, I don't know. Depending on how much time and how long this takes to actually finish this quest, or not the quest, but the the game itself. I may go back and um, look into finishing the the Mage's Guild quest and stuff like that. I'm gonna still sell this Stormcloak stuff because um, there is no reason for me to have any of this. Honestly, um, the stuff I have is a lot better at this point in time, just in terms of um, armor. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna sell. Uh, a lot of this stuff, especially this mask. I don't think I'll need this mask anymore. Because it, yeah. So, next time I'm in town, I'm definitely going to sell this stuff. Because I don't use a lot of it at all, and it's just kind of taking up space right now. So, I need to remind myself to do that once I hit um, town again. Okay, yeah. I was getting ready to attack just in case the the saber tooth tigers killed the mammoth, but we managed to avoid that. What the hell? Oh, she is really going ham on that. That's a giant and some wolves. Okay, yeah, they're not going to be pulled into that. I think, um... Nope. Nope. I was wrong. I was totally wrong. So yeah, they're pretty much dead. They're they're not coming back from any of that. I think I deactivated the run. Yeah, all right, cool. Some of the magic should be coming back. But yeah, that that was just one of the more interesting things that happened on YouTube, and kind of one of those things that kind of kickstarted me to give a give more of a damn about the channel itself and try to do bigger and better things with it in any case i think we are fairly close to where we need to be um shit okay so i think we're supposed to be up there which we are not we are down here that kind of sucks which can i I want, you know what? 
I think I can enter through here anyway, so we should be good. I think this all connects anyway, so. If it d Oh, okay. Alright, mechanical spiders. I don't think there's really anything of importance in here. Though it makes me wonder why you have access to this place. This place was sometimes called dwarves, but history records that they were no shorter than human. Okay. Alright, yeah, this seems like it's a dead end because I cannot open this gate. Okay, so. Ooh. We'll take that. There we go. Uh, I guess I could sell this. Yeah, I can definitely sell that, if anything. Uh, spell Tome, Lesser Ward. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I could definitely pass through that, no problem. Ooh, these guys do a lot of damage. Holy shit. Wow, they do a lot of damage to me. Okay. Okay, so that didn't work out too well. However, that's kind of a sign of things to come. Um, hopefully, I'll be a little bit stronger than that when the time comes to actually have to fight things like that. Um, yeah, definitely should have used the Sharingan there, definitely, but I wasn't thinking about that. Um, in any, any case, we are actually a little bit closer to where we need to go. going on over here that's another bear okay well you know what no one likes bears There we go. Good. So yeah, definitely have to be a little bit more careful now traveling those ruins. Or the ruins. Did I? You know what? This is the same way I came before. And it was not the right way. I need to find a way to climb up. Because that's where I need to go. Not down here. Which I believe will be in this direction over here. That should get me where I need to go. It's actually pretty cool that you can see that statue from all the way out here. Actually, a pretty nice view, all things considering. Wow, 
Wow, these guys do a lot of damage to me. Yeah, that's a pretty nice view, all things considering. Heal up a bit. Okay, so this is where we're supposed to be coming from. I just went, or I came in from the wrong entrance. How am I supposed to enter this place? Let's see. Okay, so apparently the entrance is below us. Here we go. See, I have one of these activated. Let me see. There we go. And I need to decast the running on. Um, I could leave those activated, but the problem with it is I have to have it takes off a portion of my overall magic to actually sustain those um abilities, the Sharing Gun and the Renin Gun, so that's why I don't have them active at all times, at least at this point. Um, once I get beyond a certain magic threshold, 10% magical chance to find items, 13 weapon chance and lightning strike. Okay. I'll probably end up selling that. Not exactly sure what to really expect. I know you were trying to keep it for yourself, Jizar. You always try to keep it for yourself. No, there's got to be more. Shut up. Pretty sure this guy's gone crazy. The one that's talking. see anything yet. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit tougher than I originally thought because these mechanical spiders seem to hurt a lot. A lot more than I thought they would, actually. Speaking of which, I should probably save this here. And... I know for sure that these mechanical spiders aren't really affected by Tsukiyomi or anything like that. Let's see. Potion of Hell. Coin purse. Really, guy? I'm gonna really need you to move. Yeah, 
Yeah. So, if I remember correctly, this guy actually went mad and killed his own brother. And because his mind's so warped and twisted, he still thinks his brother is alive, which his body's over here. It's actually in this, um, journal here. Yeah, this is his brother's journal, kind of, um... Kind of jotting down that his brother was kind of going mad, uh, more and more mad at the time until one day he just decided to, his brother decided to kill him. This place is really loud. Deactivate that. So yeah, definitely I'm thinking to get used to using the um, level 1 Tutano and the Sharingan here. Because these, these Dwarven uh, mechanical um, warriors and spiders do a lot of damage to me. I'll take the Soul Gem here. On the plus side, I think we're relatively close to reaching our destination. Yeah. Let's see. What I get the feeling this is the way I came from the last is this the way I came from the last part of the video? I don't think it is. Um Why do I feel like I went the wrong way? We'll find out. Okay, yeah, I definitely remember this place now. Um I had to come here for the Star Wars quest because the way the quest worked is you had to come here. To activate one of the quests. Let's see. Ooh, that is a nice shield. I'm going to actually give that to, um... To one of my companions here. Let's see, one of you guys could use a shield. Um, I'm still here. You know what? What do you need to take? I don't think you actually have a shield at all. So, congratulations. Let me see if I can actually find it. Let's see, it's not a weapon. It is the problem with having way too many items. Kind of get lost in the things you pick up. Where the hell is it? I know, f I'm pretty sure I picked it up. Let me check again, maybe I didn't. No, I definitely picked it up. Let's see. Amulet, body, feet, hands. Okay, yeah, I definitely picked it up. 
Combatants chilled heavy. Okay. That's it. We're one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. What do you need to take? All right. Let's try this again. There it is. Combatant shield. We'll give you that. Let's go. On, then. And Still Lydia, here? I don't think I have anything really to give you. How can I serve you, my thing? I think most of the stuff you have right now is as best as I can give you. I can give you. I can give you these shields. I mean, there's really no point for you to have them, but. As far as weapons and everything goes, I really have nothing to give you at this point. Lead on. We'll find you a, a better great hand sword or something. Definitely. Although I'm 100% sure I'm going the wrong way at this point. Okay, so that fireball did like no damage. Awesome. Okay. On the plus hand, we leveled up, so that's good. I'm gonna put this into health. I feel as though my health is pretty low. And. Let's see. Really can't do much in terms of light armor. There we go. Let's see, how close are we to where we need to be? Okay. We actually might have came the right way. Kind of cheating doing it this way, but I don't want to get pushed off. Okay. All right, I think this is probably a good point to cut this part here. Uh, we did a lot of wandering around, but before I go, I actually need to remember to start doing this because I actually forgot about this, and this is the um, the attribute points that I can put into. Um, let's see. We'll put one in the intellect, and let's put one into. Let's see. We'll put one into agility. And that gives us um a bit more of an overall build so far. Not the best build, but um definitely something to work towards. But yeah, we'll continue on to the to the next area here. Should be fun. Should be fun. <laughs>